people of YouTube and welcome back to another video it is Thursday today starting this vlog at the end of the week <laughs> um, I will explain why or should I I will maybe the thing is I didn't work yesterday Monday I did a Scotland one nothing again interesting uh, Tuesday I was doing something else yesterday I was off and uh, now I'm back on it once again doing my uh, my Scotland run I am a bit nervous because uh, we we do have two storms hitting the UK these days but fortunately the first one which started which hit the, the west coast yesterday night it was pretty rough in Liverpool now it looks like it's going south so uh, we're fine we passed the first storm there still is a bit of wind in in Scotland from what I understand but shouldn't be very problematic hopefully uh, so yeah I've just done my checks I've hooked out on under my trailer we got a fridge behind me which is extremely quiet it's one of the new models I believe oh, that's how it should be because it's very very quiet so we should have good audio and uh, yeah let's go up to Scotland <laughs> as usual <laughs> let's go Probably I should start this video by apologizing to this truck in particular. And I don't, even, I don't even know if it's the same truck, but anyway, to the Renault trucks. I'd like to apologize for making fun of it in the last video. Because basically I ended up only with a swollen eye, with an eye infection or something. I don't know actually what happened, but Hang on, someone's calling. So as I was saying, I ended up with that eye infection and if I joined the pieces, maybe I did end it up getting cursed by the Renault. Because I, I have no other explanation. At the beginning, I was thinking that be, uh, I'm, I'm having an allergic reaction to those meds. But it doesn't make any sense. If I was allergic to the meds, I should get uh, the allergy, the reaction at the beginning of the treatment, not after seven days, which was really strange. So yeah, maybe that was that was just me being cursed by the Renault. So I'm gonna stop talking shit about it. I do apologize, uh, and maybe we can still be friends. I don't know. Um, I couldn't see for for the following day. Um, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I'm just gonna blame the Renault, but. Um, I'm not gonna talk shit anymore about it. So, yeah, it's 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 a good truck. It's a it's a really great truck. I do want to be friends with it. Don't want to roll over. I don't want any more infections. Who knows? Maybe the next inf infection will be between my legs. I don't want that. So yeah, all good. We're all friends. Um, and looks like the curse is still upon me. Oh, I don't know what's wrong today with the Bluetooth device because um, I was trying to um, to put on the podcast and for some reason it just plays for one second and then it stops like the truck it's stopping the play for for continuing it I don't know it, it's very strange I mean it works I spoke on the phone I don't know maybe truck is saying something like Haha, funny man Raoul back in the truck yeah well aujourd'hui you want a podcast 
Eh, non, ce n'est pas possible, non. Aujourd'hui, non podcast, non musique, non. Aujourd'hui, eh, silent. Aujourd'hui, eh, maybe later, if you want a bit of a podcast, maybe. But uh, now, no podcast, no music. And uh, yeah, totally fine, nothing against it. At least we got a very silent um, refrigerator unit behind us. I will show you when we when we get to Scotland. I think this is the silent refrigerator I've ever seen or heard. I think it's a new model, but it's. I mean, now I can hear it because I'm doing 80 kilometers an hour. But once you are up to speed to 90, you can't hear anything. Just great. And you can probably hear the uh, the older ones just rumbling and thundering. But this one, this one is very, very quiet. It was about time for for them to do a, a much more quieter engine because in some of them I think I think the uh, the carrier ones are the, the noisiest don't know what brand is this one but uh, we'll see when we get there just coming up to that bridge where we have the uh, adverse camber we do have a bit of wind and uh, the traffic announcements say that uh, Tomorrow is going to be worse. High wind warning for tomorrow. Uh, yellow warning, snow and wind forecast. I think that's for tomorrow. Let's pass in uh, Grad Nanao. Uh, this is usually where I where I refuel. I mean, on the other side, there's a small service station. Um, it's called uh, it's called Todd Hills, and it's much cheaper than the regular ones because I don't think it's an actual service area. It just says rest area, but it's right on the motorway. And the fuel is much cheaper than uh, than on the regular services by about 10p a liter and even the, the coffee the snacks they're all cheaper than the, uh, the the regular service stations just going going into scotland now so yeah even if it's about two and a half hours from here to, uh, to to the yard, going back, it's much much economical maybe to uh, to fill up here, just because of the price and the access is pretty nice. Maybe I will film it one day when it's light outside. Usually, usually it's busy because I think a lot of a lot of drivers know about this. Uh, about this place and um, I think it makes a difference for for the company to fuel up every day maybe 300 liters even 10 even 10 p a liter I mean you can still save some so why not well, look at that lovely weather up here in Scotland uh, by the way a massive massive thank you to a couple of you who suggested some uh, jet fighter sighting places uh, unfortunately I can't remember your names but thank you very much so um, a couple of you suggested the uh, Mac loop uh, in uh, northern uh, northern Wales it's basically it's basically a huge valley and there's a trail you can go on top of that uh, that valley and the fighter planes coming at around 500 miles an hour 
and you can look basically you can look down on the plains which is absolutely fantastic there are plenty of videos on uh, on youtube so just search for mark loop i think there's a raf base somewhere or, or something like that very close nearby and um, i think they are doing exercises there or i don't know what the hell they are doing but there's a ton of videos from that location it's just just amazing to see the planes actually going beneath you or if you don't want to climb up there you can you can still see them flying real low in that valley don't know what kind of uh, exercises they're doing there but it's just fantastic so i think i've seen some photos even when they uh, um, when they exceed the such a nice view um, i think they, they exceed the, the speed of sound and you can see the the boom the sonic boom just as they close uh, just as they fly real real low to the ground yeah, fantastic thank you for that i will definitely go and uh, wow nasty blowout on the front i will definitely go and visit once uh, once i get the van up and running but uh, at the moment i haven't done anything to the van I haven't done anything because um, i made some mistakes um, up on the roof when i was uh, when i was mounting the uh, the unistrut rails um, the weather doesn't help doesn't help at all when um, when I'm free and I can actually do some work either it's raining or doing something else with the family and in the weekends it's I don't know you're, you're always against time and trying to do something else as well the thing I think the best thing what I could do is I don't know around March or april i think i'm gonna get like a whole week off and then i can really do some proper work because i'm taking the kid to school at nine o'clock in the morning then i will have like basically the whole day just to work on the van and if you're only gonna have two or three hours it's i don't know you don't even feel like you're in the mood to pull out all the all the all the gear and all the plug in the electric and all that take the uh, extension lead out take out the tools by the time you're doing something it's night because we all know at four o'clock five o'clock it's dark outside you can't see shit so that's i think that's that's the plan that's the plan i'll take a whole week off and then just put in put in all the work in a week and then you can maybe start to see a difference because now if I'm gonna do something in an hour or two it just feels like I'm doing nothing I don't know if you see the rainbow right there by the uh, by the forest of ticks <laughs> that's what it looks like it's like an upside penis for some reason very strange but yeah definitely thank you for for, for your suggestions um, unfortunately there's no timetable from um, from the mark loop or when you can see the the planes it's just down to luck but um, there is a oh my god there is a lot of uh, a lot of youtube videos one if you want to check them out maybe in the summertime meet me there for a couple of drinks who knows but yeah definitely a fantastic spot we're almost there this is uh, hamilton services right here and uh, from here from the services I need exactly 12 minutes to get onto the bay. So if I don't have 12 minutes, I'm just gonna pop in right here. But now I've got plenty, I've got 26 minutes left of 
my driving time so I think this is a pretty fast truck definitely faster than the Mercedes I'm not sure if I drove this one last week or is it another one I don't know I used to have an agenda with all the trucks I've driven which day how many hours how for how long or you know just to keep track of everything but um, for some reason I don't I don't do it anymore I was thinking that you know where I, when I'm gonna be on so many agencies just in case I would ever get a speeding ticket or whatever just to keep track of everything that was that was a good idea but for some reason I don't do it anymore I don't know maybe I should maybe I should start writing them again just write down the reg on um, on each day you're driving a truck now I'm driving MXP write it down 17th of February I drove this truck for so many hours and that was my route I don't know now I've uh, Maybe I got lazy or something. <laughs> or, I'll, yeah, no, better excuse. I, I ran out of pages in my agenda. And I uh, have to get a new agenda. <laughs> oh, boy. Really heavy, this trailer today. Come on, we're going, we're going. But still yellow. Still yellow, still legal, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, pretty heavy trailer, but no problem for the trusty old Renault. We got us here so far, no infections. So I'm not gonna talk shit about it anymore. But where's the storm? It should be a storm here today. I got eight degrees. I've developed this habit lately. Every single white sprinter van that goes that goes uh, that goes by me, I'm checking it to see if it's uh, just a regular van. Or is it a stealthy sprinter converted camper van? <laughs> Fucking hell. I'm always looking for them. Um, most of them are really, really stealthy. The only thing that's given them away is either the solar panels up on the roof or just an air vent or something. I don't know. I'm just fascinated by, the, by this idea right now. I can't wait, I can't wait to see the whole project done. Vehicle immobilized from chassis. What the hell? See how 
how quiet this is the actual engine from the truck is more louder than this one Vector HE19 must be a new model or something very very quiet it's just like like a silent idling very nice Then I have to leave the engine running because these deckers are so heavy and you need a lot of air to raise it up that's why I'm leaving the engine running So <laughs> I'm on my way back. I don't know how well you can see this, but it's snowing like crazy. Absolutely crazy. Everything is white on my left on the hills. Everything that one hour ago was green, now it's just white. Fortunately, I don't have any wind. That's a very good thing. And I think the uh, the greeters are all over the place. The road it's uh, the road is fine. Don't see any any snow on the road. But it's it's really 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 snowing. Don't know if you've seen that. What what are you doing? You overtake and then you break. Fucking idiot. I don't know if, you, if you've seen that uh, that cloud gathering in the uh, in the time lapse. That's a huge storm, and well, we are right in the middle of it. Is this f guy fucking joking me or something? I don't know how well the camera can get this. But it's proper snowing. <laughs> Fuck you know. The real danger now it's actually the uh, slow moving cars. Right now at this moment, these are the real dangers of the road. Small cars. Small cars with summer tires, no traction going up a hill or down a hill. And we have to overtake everything because they are just so slow. Well friends, it's Friday today um, and this Friday comes with good news and with some bad news as well. Um, at the moment there is a huge storm here in the UK, um, but luckily for me it's not affecting my area or where I'm going as much. Um, there is a red warning on the south of England and um, I was just checking the uh, the Met Office app and you can see right here so we've got right here so now it's two o'clock and you can see this red dot right here um, so that's a red warning of high winds it's now just above London and from what I understand 
the M25 is shot. Uh, we are right here in uh, Manchester Liverpool area. Um, at the moment we've got an amber warning of wind. And up north where we're going we got yellow warning of wind, yellow warning of ice. And on this side right here there's a yellow warning of ice and snow. So it's gonna be a very interesting, uh, very interesting Friday. Um, and the thing is, it's it's very late because my truck is delayed. Uh, the night man had two blown out, two punctures. Um, one at the tractor unit. I think he's. I think he waited for the recovery services about three or four hours, and. Um, when he was about uh, ready to go with the loaded trailer he noticed that there is a flat tire on the trailer as well so he had to wait for another guy for another set of recovery to come um, come change that tire so yeah it's gonna be i don't know it's gonna be maybe another uh, hour and a half till he's, till he's here he's got some uh, road closures on the way as well because yeah it's crazy it's crazy um the wind just starting to pick up here in uh, in Liverpool area. It was it was fine till about two hours ago, um, but now it's really starting to blow. But in a way, I'm glad that it started to blow now because maybe the storm will pass, and we should be okay going up north. I am very nervous. I'll be very honest with you. Um, it's not joke, not not joking around with these double decker trailers on on high winds, and it's it's just it's scary, it's scary. Believe me, you move so much, you get blown from one lane to to another just like that. Um, so yeah, I am I am a bit concerned. But uh, as I've said, maybe it's a good thing that all these delays happened, and uh, maybe the storm will pass. I don't know. If we check the, um, if we take a look at, at the map, so now it's two o'clock, and as the time goes by, you'll see that the storm is actually dissipating, is is going away. So maybe maybe it's a good thing that that um, definitely, I mean, yeah, definitely good thing that everything is delayed. If I was um, if I was up on on the road right now. Uh, wouldn't be so much fun maybe it's better yeah it's it's for the best maybe that's that's the way the things should supposed to be you know that was written in the books for me to be delayed <laughs> so yeah definitely a good thing the the downside of it basically will be that i'm gonna be home very very late so if i'm gonna start let's say half two or three o'clock that means I'm gonna finish one. I don't know. We'll see. Um, at the moment, I'm waiting for my truck, and uh, I'll see you on the road. The truck has arrived. How is the wind? just passing Liverpool and it's bad it's really really bad I've already seen lots of videos on uh, on Facebook on I don't know where exactly maybe more down in the south but there definitely trucks are being tipped over and uh, oh man I just got that got that nasty feeling in my stomach I don't know why Maybe sure I should have uh, should have passed this job today. But uh, according to the mat office, the uh, the worst part is just just uh, after Preston. So if we if we pass Preston, we should be okay. Anyway, we are going really slow. But uh, luckily, we are heavy. We are very very heavy. 
hopefully we are not top heavy because you never know you never know how these guys are loading all that crap but yeah uh, my wife just sent me a, a photo my fence is already broken at home I've tied the, the kids trampoline to the fence to the concrete fence and uh, the concrete fence was okay but it snapped the uh, the timber off from that uh, from that concrete fence so definitely blowing around here the thing is I'm just not used to driving to, in those winds you know I've never experienced these kinds of winds we don't have them in Romania in Romania all we have is either floods or heavy snow or heat waves but we don't have we don't have high winds I experienced some high winds in uh, in Denmark when I was doing international transport but uh, not uh, not with these tall trailers completely completely different story with uh, with the tall trailers <sighs> yeah definitely nervous definitely really nervous I'm in the murk as well and it's rocking this cap so hard you don't know if it's just the cap tilting so much or really high winds just a, a, I don't know this guy in front of me is with the curtain side and even worse and it's a pretty tall one as well it's not a double decker but it's still a high one I think we got wind from the front now. Now the sea is somewhere on our left. That's the city. That's Liverpool right there on our left. So that's where the wind is blowing. First accident. This is the M58. That's the queue going into Liverpool. All I could see was a small van and I think something hit the... Uh, there was a huge massive hole in the windscreen so probably something, I don't know, came flying I don't know what because it was a pretty round hole straight into the windscreen Fucking hell so Definitely some flying debris Let's Just take a look at the queue Oh man. At least we are very very heavy because it's barely pulling. I don't know. I don't know how many tons. But fuck me, we are really really heavy. And the Merc is not known for power, but still. It's not even a it's the smallest hill right here. And we are struggling. I don't think I'll made it I'll make it in uh in one go well, if I'm gonna have to take a break I'll have to take a break that's it I'll let this guy go I don't wanna roll over him yeah they've also shut down the motorway so they are diverting all the traffic like it's gonna be a while till uh, they'll uh, reopen <laughs> Jesus Christ just imagine something came flying and straight into your windshield fucking hell what happened here of flood oh there's a car there fucking hell oh man oh boy maybe because of the flood on the road Jesus Christ was right on the field oh man oh boy not a good start <laughs> already seen two accidents in what 29 minutes of driving 
<laughs> Fucking hell. Oh man. Just got on the M6. And the uh, first traffic announcement, uh, M6, junction 29 to 31, strong winds, so uh, we'll definitely have some problems, but I'm surprised, only, only that far, only that far, so we should be, uh, I don't know, we should be okay, now the wind died down a bit, it's not that bad as uh, it was uh, near the coast in Liverpool, don't see any fallen trees or anything so maybe a good sign but um, I'm definitely nervous definitely very very nervous not playing any music or nothing and this, this truck is like really really slow just look at it <laughs> barely cra cra crawling up this hill at 40 miles an hour very very slow holy shit <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say except holy shit <laughs> sometimes you get like these unexpected gusts and it's just fucking oh man definitely softens your feet <laughs> slow down Jesus Christ fucking hell oh fuck this shit this is the first and the last time I'm fucking driving on an amber warning fuck me a double decker especially what the fuck am I gonna do coming back empty starting to regret this day, I'll be totally honest. I should have stayed home. Don't know if you can see how the rain is being thrown away. Actually, it's raining sideways. It's not coming from the top, it's coming from the left. Definitely gonna snow sooner or later. Oh boy. just about to, uh, to go into Scotland I'm just at the border and look at that for a sunset how beautiful is that um, right here the winds are not that crazy so look like looks like the uh, the Met office was right it's pretty 
pretty okay-ish up in here in Scotland. The wind still blows, but uh, nothing to nothing compared to what it was in Liverpool. And with that sunset <laughs> and uh, the fact that the weather died down is just a sign of I don't know. I think somebody up there loves me. I really feel it like a sign from my guardian angel that everything will be okay. I only had these uh, two hours of intense weather today, but um, oh man, it really puts a lot of stress in on you, you know. Um, feels like I'm driving forever now, and I've only drove two hours and 49 minutes. But because you have to be like 100% concentrated, no music, no nothing, just hear the sound of the truck. Just feel every, every, everything on the truck. You have you really have to be focused. But thank God, thank God we are okay. So just an hour and a half now, and I'll reach my destination. We might get uh, get a bit of a bit of snow up on the hills, because last night I don't know if the camera caught it, but it was snowing like crazy up in the hills. So we might, we might get some snow, but uh, I think all these clouds are now passing and uh, that, that should be it. That's the only cloud remaining, that one right there. And then you can see clear skies where the sun is setting. You can see clear skies on that side as well. So yeah, thank God you died down because uh, uh, I wouldn't want it to drive like this whole road four and a half hours in uh, in constant stress. It just wears you down. What? I got a green light. Are you joking me? Twenty five minutes, and I swear. The light just popped green. <laughs> what? I didn't even finish my break. Fuck it. Up. I just finished my lunch and everything. My, my lunch, my dinner. I was just about to chat with you to end the vlog. I, I really can't believe it. Just take a look at this. I hope you can see it. Green light. Unbelievable. I'm just gonna stay put. I'm just gonna ignore it and pretend I don't see it or pretend I'm sleeping or something. <laughs> wow. Right, anyway, um, we made it here, obviously. Um, hell of a night, hell of a night. Um, so I think this, this was the windiest night I've ever had. Like, no, really. And uh, from all those four hours and exactly 27 minutes, I only had like, what, two and a half hours of really high winds. Because in rest from Scotland, <clears throat> I had a bit of snow, but um, it was okay, actually. But those two and a half hours, oh my God. And, um, I was talking to the guys who, um, who went down, uh, down south today um that was pretty nasty already lots and lots of trucks turned over tipped on its sides just hope everyone's okay um oh, i got a red light again maybe they lowered the deck they took a break or something oh, no. now it's red again Ah, ah, I've seen them. They just came to lower the suspension. They could have told me. They could have told me. Oh. <clears throat> Thing is, they need the deck um, to tip the first half. They need it very, very raised. And then, well, they, when they uh, lower the deck, they need the trailer to be at its lowest position. Or just on level 
Wait, anyway. Uh, so yeah, I just hope everyone, uh, everyone's okay after this, um, after this crazy couple of days. And um, yeah, not fun, not fun to drive in in such strong winds. It just drains your energy, and you have to be focused a hundred percent all of the time. You have to focus. You have to you have to grab a hold of the wheel and just just stay as focused as possible. And uh, I was talking to uh, one of the other guys, and um, because he went down south, I mean south, it wasn't that much south. Uh, this guy, I think, was just around around Lutterworth, so not far from Birmingham, and uh, he had a double decker uh, with a cut inside them. And he, I, I spoke with him, and he drove for I think about seven hours, and he was no, yeah, he was in, in the muck as well, and. He told me my uh, my hands are hurting because I was I mean all the time you have to be con concentrated and just constantly readjust the uh, the steering and all that. Oh yeah, uh, it's not fun. But hopefully, hopefully this was the last storm of um, of this winter. It's common. I mean, it's February now. Hopefully, hopefully we'll be okay. Hopefully we're we're done with it. Um, thank God the, the weather was nice here in, in, in Scotland. Very lucky about that. And from what I, what I can see from the from the weather weather map now, uh, the storm is already uh, already dissipating, already gone. So I, I should be okay going back with the with the empty decker. So yeah, this is uh, this was my experience uh, on the. On the amber warning, amber amber code of high winds, because right here in uh, Merseyside we didn't have the red uh, the red code. So just hope everyone's okay um, and yeah, stay safe. And for fuck's sake, don't do this job for twelve pounds an hour. I was Raúl. Catch you next time. Till then, take care, all the best, peace.